In this video, we're going to see how to make curved lines with Photoshop Elements. Hi, I'm Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Let's go over to Elements and get started. I'm using Photoshop Elements 12 for this video, but it'll work in other versions as well. The first thing you should know is that Photoshop Elements doesn't really have a tool specifically for drawing curved lines. About the best you can do is use the brush tool and you know you can draw curved lines but they may not be as smooth as you like so i want to show you a few tricks that you can use to make smoother curved lines in elements i'm going to undo this now, i have a plain white document but you can do this technique on a regular photo one way to get smooth curved lines is to use the elliptical marquee tool. Let's go through it step by step. Step one is to create a new layer in the layers panel. If you don't see the layers panel over on the right side of your screen, go up to the window menu, just click on layers. And to create a new layer, you just click on the create a new layer icon. Some versions of elements, those icons, instead of being at the top of the layers panel, you might find them at the bottom of the layers panel. Just look for the icon that looks like that sheet of paper and click on it. And you can see it adds a new layer above our background layer called layer one. And that's the layer that we're going to be drawing our curved lines on. Step two is to draw around selection. And we need to make the elliptical marquee tool the active tool. And you'll find it over here in the toolbox. If you don't see it over here, you might see the rectangular marquee tool, which looks like this. Just go ahead and click on the rectangular marquee tool. And then go down to the tool options where you can make the elliptical marquee tool active by clicking on it. Older versions of Elements, let me switch over to Photoshop Elements 8. If you have the uh, rectangular marquee tool, you just click and hold and then both options will appear in a pop-up menu and you can just choose the elliptical marquee tool from there to make it active. So here we are back in Photoshop Elements 12 and I have the elliptical marquee tool active and now I'm going to click and drag and I'm watching the top part of this round shape that I'm drawing because that's what's going to be the arch that I want to make. If you want an arch that has more of a curve to it, drag down. If you want less of a curve, drag up to make a shorter selection. You need to keep holding down your mouse button as you click and drag. And as long as you do that, you can keep drawing out the shape of your ellipse. But as soon as you let go, which I'll do right now, you might get this kind of weird looking thing like I have with double lines. That's just a redraw issue. It'll straighten out as we go along here. If you let go and you're not happy with the shape of your arch, you can go up to the Select menu and choose Transform Selection. You'll get this bounding box around your selection. And now you can click and drag on any of these eight handles that are around the bounding box to resize your ellipse if you want. And if you put your cursor in the inside of the bounding box, you can click and drag and you can move it around. Once you have it the way you think you want it, click the green check mark to commit to it. Step three is apply a stroke to the selection. To do that, go up to the edit menu and click on Stroke Outline Selection. That opens the Stroke dialog box. All we need to worry about for this lesson is the width. Yours might be at a different setting. Mine is already at six pixels because I was doing this earlier. You can make it any width you want. Click OK. Now I see that stroke is around my selection line. I need to deselect. I'm just going to press Command D on a Mac or it would be Control D on a PC. And now I'm going to erase the bottom part of that line. I'll go over to the toolbox, click on the eraser tool. You can resize your eraser icon by pressing the left or right bracket keys, the left bracket key. Each time you press it makes your brush a little smaller and the right bracket key makes it a little bigger every time you press it. I'm going to make it nice and big so I can just easily brush and erase away that bottom line. And there I have a simple arc. 
Let's make another one so I can give you a sense how quick this really is once you get the hang of it. It will give me an opportunity to show you how you can combine uh, multiple curved lines together in one document too. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer and then I'll get my elliptical marquee tool, draw another ellipse, go up to the edit menu, stroke it, deselect, get my eraser tool, and I'm going to get rid of this bottom part of it. And now you can see how really quick that is once you have the steps down. It's just four easy steps. So that's the basic idea of how you can create a curved line. Uh, let's try doing a little more complex line. I'm going to select both of these new layers that we created and then I'll hold down the Option key on a Mac, or it would be the Alt key on a PC, as I click on the trash can, and that will delete those two layers. And now I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to get my brush tool. I want to paint a red line with the brush tool, so I need to change my foreground color to red, and I can do that by clicking on the foreground color, and that brings up the color picker and then I'm just going to click and drag to the upper right corner in this big square and that gives me a nice bright red so I'll say OK and you can see my foreground color is now that red which means that that's the color my paintbrush will use to paint with and I want to do more of a squiggly line this time so I'm going to start at the top here and I want to do something like that I'm just going to use that red line as a guide for when I make my elliptical selections. I'll create a new layer, get my elliptical marquee tool active, and I'm going to change my foreground color back to black. And I can do that just by pressing the letter D for default on my keyboard. I'm going to try to kind of mimic that curve that I drew with the red line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but in general, I want to kind of have that same curve in the same spot. That's about as good as I can do. So I'll give that a stroke and then deselect and create a new layer. Draw a new ellipse for my next curve. And again, I'm going to try to follow that uh, red line the best I can. And I need to overlap my first circle a little bit. So we'll do that and that looks pretty good. So I'll let go and give that a stroke and then deselect that. And then I'll do one more. So I'll create a new layer. Again, try to follow the curve on the red line. That looks pretty good right there. So I'll let go and then stroke that and then deselect. Now I'm going to go back to my first black circle, make that layer active in the Layers panel, get my Eraser tool, and I'm going to erase the parts that I don't want on that first circle. I'm actually going to turn off the visibility for the red layer so it's not so distracting, and now I can better see what I have for this black. I'm going to zoom up there a little bit and just try to erase away that stuff that I don't want there. And I'll zoom back out and then make my next layer active and erase the parts from that layer that I don't want. I'm going to zoom in here. Zoom back out, make my next layer active, and I'll zoom back in on that, and erase the parts I don't want on that layer. And that's pretty good. I'll zoom back out, and there you have it. So, you know, you can kind of put together pieces like that to get curved lines. There's a couple other tricks you can use to get curved lines with elements, but I don't want this video to get too long, so I think I'm going to wrap this one up, and uh, 
we'll have to do another part uh, maybe next week. So until next time, this is Rick saying take care.